And now to a new scam alert you need to be aware of. Identity thieves are posing as credit card fraud departments, trying to trick you into revealing the security code on your credit card. With more on this, consumerist deputy editor Chris Moran. Chris, welcome back to the show. Good to hey, see Jen. you. So what are these bad guys doing? Explain it. Well, these are guys who already have your credit card number. Uh, this stuff's all available on the black market if you're clever enough and you have the right access to this kind of thing. And so is your phone number. Uh, a lot of people's phone numbers are available uh, either through directories or on the black market. So they call and pretend to be the bank. They call and say, oh, we have a fraud alert on your card. And uh, can you just verify that this is the card? Uh, we'll need the, the three digits or the four digits, depending on what kind of card you have. We'll need those digits on the back of your card just to verify you are the card holder. You think, oh, well, okay, yeah, here it is. Yeah, uh, and you give it to them, and now they have everything. They have your name, they have your full card number, and they have that code that only you and the bank have. They have all that, and they can go make fake cards that look exactly like and work exactly like uh, so the even one you have if in your you pocket. cancel that card, they can go out and create new cards under your name. Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, the thing is, you don't know yet that your numbers, that your information has been stolen. This is, they do this before they go out and make fraudulent purchases. Now they have a fake card that they can go out and use. They can use it online. They can use it in stores. Uh, and then you won't find out until after it's all done that someone has go, gone and used your card in, you know, online at, at every, any store you can imagine. You know, what's interesting about this and what I found astonishing is they can make it look like they're calling for the bank. How do, uh, is it convincing? Yeah, there's, it's, it's actually really easy uh, to, to make for a fraudster to, to look like they're calling from any number. You can fake any number. It's actually, it's legal to fake a number, but it's, legal to, it's illegal to fake it for fraud. So it's, it's kind of a legal gray area. But yeah, anybody can make their phone look like they're calling from Bank of America or from you know, fraud department, you know, even if it's somebody calling from Jamaica or from, you know, or, or Ridiculous. from you know, Asia somewhere. I'm telling you, yeah. these people are so smart. Of course, do not give that number out by telephone. If you call the bank no. yourself uh, using the number on the back of your card, fine, but don't give it out over the telephone. In the meantime, I want to ask you about AT&T mobile phone customers. If you've got those cramming charges, there's a deadline coming up. What is it? Yeah, it's this Friday. It's the, uh, it's the last day to file a claim uh, online. It's, I think it's FTCSettlementATT.com. It's a really long URL. But basically, it's uh, for, for about three years AT&T and T-Mobile were both allowing uh, third parties to put these illegal charges on your, uh, you know, for, for premium text messaging services like horoscopes. Stuff things you that might people not have request. ordered. And, exactly. Stuff as, as much as $10 a month for some people. Uh, and, uh, and the FTC and the, the Consumer, fin Min Consumer Financial Protection Bureau are both cracking down on this right now. There's a, a lawsuit pending against Sprint as well. Okay, but at the end of the day, Chris, how much money am I going to get if I file for this? In your view, what's likely? Uh, I don't, it's going to depend on how many people file. There, for AT&T, there's a limit of $80 million maximum for everybody who files. So that's going to be divvied up, uh, and obviously according to how, many, how much you were, you were scammed to begin with. Uh, and even then, you know, the, according to the FTC, you know, AT&T made hundreds of millions of dollars off this. So you, if it's $80 million max, you're only going to get back a fraction uh, of what you were actually scammed out of. Yeah, we're not. You're not going to get 80 million. You're not going to get 10 or one. No. You're going to get change. You're, it'll be a few dollars. <laughs> yeah, a few dollars maximum, I would guess. Probably a few cents, honestly. All right, Chris. Thanks for coming on. Good to see you. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Jerry.